Hello, everyone. Uh, I haven't really made a plan about what I'm going to talk about here. Sorry about my uh, screen reflecting my glasses, um, because I just wanted to kind of uh, thought dump so that I can stop thinking about it, because it it does uh, it it is one of those things that kind of gnaws at you. Um, over the last few years, I've been very disappointed by people who I formerly worked with, um, colleagues from uh, show business have kind of queued up to smear me as a bigot uh, and uh, basically treat me like a pariah. Uh, the latest example of which is Paul Whitehouse and Charlie Higson. Um, they, uh, hi guys, nice to see Doozer here. Um, they have been go. They have been doing a tour, a fast show tour recently. And apparently, whenever they talk about Ralph and Ted, two characters that uh, Arthur Matthews and I created, they say the same line wherever they go. They say created by Graham and Arthur, or Arthur as we now call them, something like that. So they they repeat this line over and over again. I've heard that they said it in Nottingham, in Glasgow. Um, and various other places. Um, what's kind of uh, shocking about this to me is that I never thought Paul Whitehouse and Charlie Higson would be the kind of people to fall for this movement. Um, but, you know, I never thought Bill Bailey would be the kind of person to fall for this movement. Uh, or Alexi Sale, uh, who, who recently did on a podcast, um, uh, laughed about the fact that I've lost everything because of my stand on this issue. Uh, there has been a few times th throughout this kind of awful family history that Jude has where the daughter has come home and they've tried to kind of uh, get through to her, tried to um, speak to her, kind of mend uh, uh, bridges with her. And she has just locked herself in the room, terribly depressed. She's had a double mastectomy. I think she's had a hysterectomy. I can't remember exactly whether they said that, but uh, someone last night was talking about a young girl who's had a hysterectomy. And the thing about having a hysterectomy is that it brings on the menopause um, um, way too early. So uh, the last time that these, this young, very troubled girl was home, she spent all her time in a room she ordered Deliveroo Eats. Uh, all, they, all they knew about her being alive was that these, these deliveries would be, would, the gate would swing open. They would hear the delivery man leave the food and, and leave. Um, and then soon after that, she too left. And again, they've lost contact with her. They can't find her. Um, and they have no idea what's happening to this extremely troubled young woman who, uh, who is their daughter, you know? Now, that is what, and I just want to be very, very clear about this. That is what Paul Whitehouse and Charlie Higson of The Fast Show are endorsing by joining in with this casual smearing of me. You know, none of the people who uh, have condemned me have ever told me what I've done wrong. Uh, when ha when uh, Jimmy Mulville of hat trick uh was destroying all hope of the father ted musical uh, i asked him at one point i said what have i done wrong and he rolled his eyes you know as if it was self-evident uh it's not self-evident i don't see why it's wrong it just keeps growing this list of people in my old life who are adding to the difficulties i have in making a living by uh, by constantly smearing me without actually telling me what I've done wrong. Again, what Charlie Higson, for example, what is wrong with 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 trying to stop these experiments on children? Why are you not curious about it, given that you are a writer of young adult fiction? You know, yeah, I mean, I had a I've had a kind of a a recent, um, I had a kind of recent uh, bunch of people being nice about me though. Kemi Badenoch mentioned me in a piece, which was really nice. Uh, 
you know, talking about how unfairly I've been treated. But you realize that none of my old friends will see that because they don't read the Times because they only read, read the Guardian, you know, and they believe everything the Guardian says. But, uh, but yeah, Gamergate, I think I got it wrong. Uh, you know, there was one famous thing I, was, I spoke about on another interview recently, the one I just tweeted with Maddie. Uh, it was, um, sorry, it's not, it's not Maddie's not her name. I'd forgotten her name's jumped out of my Melody. Melody. Um, but uh, Gamergate had one op, I remember, called Operation Lollipop, where they, uh, a lot of 4chaners posed as black women. They all put photographs of black women in their Twitter accounts. And they all tried to make end Father's Day go viral. I think that's what it was, the hashtag. And they all pretended that Father's Day was a race, racist, colonialist, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, tradition. And the whole intention of end Father's Day was to create chaos because they wanted people to believe that black women had suddenly gone crazy and were... Um, we're, we're trying to push this bizarre uh, uh, narrative. Narrative's not the right word. Uh, but um, I'm gonna have to find my plug for the, for the uh, computer in a sec, because it's about to run out. Uh, but, um, uh, but it wasn't true. It was just a 4chan op. And I remember thinking, this is terrible. This is the worst thing I've ever seen. You know, how dare they? How dare these right-wing bigots do this? But of course, now the left are doing it and the left are, and when the left do it it's suddenly okay it's suddenly absolutely fine to uh have uh opinions that benefit men uh and pretend that they're coming from women when they're really not you know anyway listen i'm just going to find my plug i want you to say You have to be careful when you stand up, you don't reveal something that um, will have the uh, sad wankers on Cooked and Bond, uh, who I talked about in my book, looking in the background, looking for something that they can get me with, because they couldn't, couldn't hack it in comedy. <laughs> anyway. Um, there we go. So... Uh, You say there's a Gamergate 2.0 on now. It's even worse. Uh, oh, hi, Scott. Yeah, can you tell me about that? Send me send me links because I'm curious about what's going on. Um, but yeah, I think the, the when Gamergate was around, first of all, I think I just uh, I think I just um, uh, believed what I was being told because I did that thing where my feed was feeding stuff back to me that was just uh, propaganda. So uh, I don't know. I hope uh, I hope I don't make a mistake like that again. And I really would like to know exactly what went on. It's a very good book um, about it called "Kill All Normies" that I recommend everyone reads. Which I thought was too. When I read it, I thought it was too easy on the gamer gators. But now I realise it was actually probably just right. Um, anyway, look, I didn't want to go into things like Gamergate and stuff like that uh, because I really just wanted to talk about. How disappointing my colleagues are! Why they why they're doing what they're doing? What is the reason for it? What is the reason for Paul Whitehouse and Charlie Hickson saying the same thing in every town or great or author as we call them now, as we call them now? What is the reason for it? You know, um, I don't know. I I hope that you uh, can ask them. You know, when you meet them, uh, Charlie Hickson. Um, He's on Twitter, so maybe ask him. Uh, maybe if you're in the audience for the Fast Show, maybe ask them there. But uh, but yeah, so anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Um, one last question. Graham, is this particular issue open your eyes to other issues or made you skeptical of anything else you took for granted before? Yes, everything, absolutely everything. You know, I, I, I don't think I'll ever trust a newspaper again, you know? And neither should you, because uh, if they can do this to me, they can do it to you. All right, everyone. Lovely to speak to you all. I have to go to another book launch in Sydney. Yay! So I will see you uh, anon. Bye.